I joined this lobby and saw this interesting name here, so I decided to go out and see what he was doing. I saw that he was fighting someone with an oppressor, so I decided to start a cargo mission and drove towards him with some special cargo. Here's how it went. Absolutely perfect, he took the bait. He doesn't know what he's gotten himself into. But wait, check this out. He destroys the cargo as well. It's getting even better. Now I can vaporize him, do whatever I want to him. It's time to get active. Phone calls are so annoying. I wasn't Ewo in mid fight. He, however, starts to Ewo after getting hit. And again. Watch me kick him. After all the abuse, he decided to get an oppressor MK2. He hopped off of it very fast because he couldn't get a kill on me since I simply u woed for his missiles. I wanted to call a mugger on him when this random guy on the oppressor starts to kill me. Hey, they won't be expecting that one. He was getting quite annoying, so I job teleported to one of my rooftops to snipe them. Bro starts to cry in the chat now, so I asked him this. It's always funny to see how people get surprised by using the most basic tactics in this 10-year-old game. I decided to get off of here because they didn't have a chance at all. Bro hopped back on his oppressor. So I job teleported to one of my rooftops again to snipe him. It's so funny how this guy's still stuck on one kill and got abused this much after touching my special cargo. He was getting upset. Bro must have left his room or something to cool down. Oh, 
I started to shoot rockets here to try and get a keck. Too bad I didn't get it. He spawned there already. And there he goes. I hope he will think twice before destroying someone's cargo in the future. Never walk on a bridge in this game during PvP. After the fight, he asked me if I was looking for a PvP crew. It sounded interesting, so I told him to invite me into his PvP crew. After I friended him and joined his crew, I decided to join a new lobby and bait people with my special cargo. Guy in the heli tried to take me down. I decided to give him a warning. Couple seconds later, he decides to blow up the cargo anyways. I tried to take him down, but I got a hit marker instead. He's gonna end up like the previous guy in this video. I was farming him so long, he starts to talk in voice chat now. What the hell? What is your goddamn problem? I wasn't sure if it was him or not, so I asked in the chat who was talking. Me, you killing me. So I told him this. Yeah, because I had to. Part of my job. Oh well, since it's part of his job, I will demonstrate to him what my job looks like. A bit later, I got into my car when suddenly a modder decides to do this. What is your name? Arc on a fire. The barcode suddenly kills me. He thinks that I am randomly griefing someone. Bro, I can't save you forever. You're eventually gonna have to learn how to fight in this game. Yeah, I know. I, God, I thought it was in God mode and killing you. He's just playing legit and you are just getting... I'm not used to it. Destroyed. The barcode starts to shoot at me, so I tried to kill him. 
He had a mod enabled that automatically turns off the network traffic between me and him when he gets hit because he doesn't die. He's just laying on the floor, and then he mod teleports to me. He was getting pretty upset at the crew member who joined me. And I suddenly get shot by a new guy. Here the barcode comes back with modded off the radar. I know it's modded because I never saw any notification of anyone being off radar in the kill feed. He accidentally set a fixed modded respawn point on top of the mountain. He thought that having high ground on there would help him out. I can't keck him because he has no ragdoll enabled in his mod menu. Notice how he's spawn delaying. He's buying time so he can go through his menu to teleport me away from his location. He put me on top of the maze bank. He literally shot me first during my time in the lobby. Bro's brain dead. I decided to teleport back. Ever since the recent GTA update, the old method to job teleport has been removed. Easiest way to do it now is by running GTA V on two PCs. You simply have to join your second PC, which has to be in a different targeting mode. Bro's mad. This barcode has been using the explosive sniper for over half an hour now. You can only carry 40 explosive bullets, meaning that he has infinite bullets enabled in his mod as well. He's toggling aimbot as well. Notice how his bullet goes up in the air. It somehow managed to kill me. Notice how he's shooting me without being on the map. He disables his off-radar mod the second he kills me. I accidentally left the game. Luckily, I managed to join back my crew member. I knew something was off, so I kept looking at the map to be prepared for potential surprises. The barcode mod teleports onto me. Kid accuses me for using aimbot.
This should have been a kek. But nothing happened, of course, since he has no ragdoll enabled. My spawn prediction was good, though. Bro's lucky I'm generous enough to give him free lessons in a lobby. The barcode is in a clear state of delusion. The barcode is fully aware of his own misuse of his menu against me and is now projecting his own actions onto me. While talking to the barcode, I noticed a random guy job teleport close to me. He has a dot in his name. On PC, this usually means he's a score player about 99% of the time. I was ready to adapt my playstyle. I knew it's a EUO player, so I had explosives ready for when he shot me. I heard him shooting rockets so that he could see me with his thermals, so I hopped into my RC. I drove right under him with my RC and called an airstrike so I could get him off of the building. There we have it. Bro's Ewing like I predicted. He even left the game since he was too scared to get killed. Not even 20 seconds passed by and he already joined back. So I decided to teleport to my facility. I checked the map to see if he'd exit, but he stayed inside. He was aware that I might use the orbital cannon on him. To make him feel comfortable, I teleported to a private job location where I knew he couldn't kill me. I simply wanted to be outside my facility to spare him from the fear of the orbital cannon. He instantly went outside to kill people when he saw me going outside the facility. He was inside a wall breach where he was killing people. Look, he randomly got orb. Perfect timing for someone to orb him. It's almost like someone went to his second PC and joined the lobby to orb him. Look at him leaving. Oh, wow. Isn't it convenient that we somehow got the footage of someone joining into the lobby to orb him from the second PC? We can see him sitting inside the wall breach inside the hangar here. And there he goes. While I was sitting in the wall breach, he joined back once more, then instantly left when he almost got killed. He somehow still managed to type in the chat after leaving. When he left, I wanted to school the barcode yet again, but he decided to mod kick me out of the lobby. After I got kicked, I got put into a random lobby. My crew member also joined in and the barcode decided to follow us as well into this lobby with his mod since he wanted to 1v1 with my crew member. So I watched them 1v1. It was pretty funny to see how many excuses the barcode kept making in the chat while getting farmed. It's gotten to a point where even random players started to ask him if he was okay or not. Bro even started to use aimbot. He must have had a bad internet connection to get this many hit markers. Or he could be capping like he was doing before. I kept laughing at the stupidity of this barcode. The entire convo was melting my brain. At the end, a bunch of cars spawned next to us, which usually happens when someone tries to crash your game. From what I observed while editing this video, it looks like the barcode was mad and tried to crash my crew member's game. However, since my crew member had a mod menu, his menu simply prevented his game from crashing and kicked the barcode out of the lobby automatically. This has to be one of the funniest barcodes I have seen in GTA. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one.